stepping back out here for spring? Oh, you know, it's like Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Coming out here, back out here with the guys, having fun, you know, getting better. You know, just a great feeling to be back out here with the game. What are the goals for the defense over the next 15 practices? Get better, most definitely. Though. This, all this, all this is practices. You know, in the middle of the year, just get better. Just approve from what you were last year. Is there is everyone more on the same page this year? Second year under Coach Barnett and Coach Tagger, just kind of having a greater understanding of what's expected. Almost definitely, you know, uh, everybody is starting to learn more, learn the defense in depth a lot more now. Um, guys are coming in, watching extra film. Everybody's putting in that extra work to get better. So you know, um, this second year we're ready to roll, throwing some new stuff in. So you know, just confuse a lot of people. So we're gonna be ready to rock and roll this year. Is is last year a motivating factor? Or is last year done and over? With? I mean, last year's gone and over. With. We're looking forward now. You know, that last year was last year. You know, we hope everybody else can move on because you now we're moving forward. What, what do you think you learned? What, what do you take away from that experience, though? I guess. Oh, uh, what not to do. You know, basically uh, everything we tried to do last year, you know, just didn't turn out the right way. So we learned what not to do. So we need, you know what we need to fix. So, you know, we're going to go fix that and get better. Going along with that, I mean, what what is the attitude like in the locker room? Are you guys, you know, ready to get out here, ready to get better? I mean, Almost definitely. You know, every day, you know, even last year when things weren't going right, we never we never lost faith in getting better. You know, it's what we do for our, football is what we do. So um, this year, this spring we're going to come out, we're going to try to get better, uh, more, more than better, try to be great this year and come out and do great things. The defensive line, specifically, you guys lost a lot of veteran leadership with Brian and Demarcus and Fred. For you personally, how important do you think it would be for you to kind of become a leader this year? Well, it's going to be very important for me. You know, um, me, Corey, uh, J. Rob, Kando. You know, us being some of the old heads in the set. You know, we got to show the young guys the ropes. You know, we got to spend a lot of extra time with them in the film room, off the field. You know, just making sure they feel comfortable in the defense. You know, feel comfortable around everybody. With Coach Higgins coaching the whole line, does that change anything? Or? No, I don't change anything at all. Coach Higgins is still going to be Coach Higgins. Now he just got extra more kids now in this thing, so you know he just got. He might take a little bit of focus off of us, but you know at the same time he's still going to coach all of us hard. What do you think uh, Robert Cooper is, is capable of uh, as a sophomore? Uh, Robert Cooper is capable of being All-American this year. You know, I've been telling Coop doing workouts and stuff like that. He's like working on his weight and stuff like that. It's like this is your All-American season. Everybody knew who you are already. It's time for you to come out and show who you really are. For you to, to know that you're going to have a guy like that and Corey next to you, what, what is that going to be able to do? Oh, it's great things for me because I know a lot of people going to be focusing on me this year, you know, because of the season I had last year. And I was telling them, I just said, I need y'all guys to come out and ball out with me this year because if y'all eat, that's going to take a lot of pressure off me, and then I can go back to eating doing what I do. With Marcus and Fred Brown, I, I mean, have you stepped into that leadership role, and how natural has that been? Uh, yeah, it's been it's been good. You know, uh, right before they left, uh, Fred and uh, Christmas started to hand me the torch, you know, showing me the ropes. You know, just this this off season so far has been great. You know, getting getting to know these guys a lot more. You know, taking them in. You know, showing them different things that Christmas and Fred used to show me. You kind of mentioned it. You know, you're gonna think you're gonna see a little bit more attention this year. But with that coming, how do you think you can kind of? What do you have to do to kind of not only maintain what you did last year, but continue to get better? Oh, get better. You know, just get in the lab. Most definitely, film work. Uh, especially meeting with Odell on one-on-one -on -one times, getting in, learning how different teams are going to scheme me up, how they're going to block me, how they're going to do run certain things against me. So you know, getting there with him, learning the game more more in depth. So when I'm out there, I can be able to think fast on my toes. When you play on the other side of the ball, but have you seen or noticed any changes in James over the last few weeks or few months? And I guess had some roster changes. Uh, no, James. James always been James. You know, I ain't, uh, I go hard behind James. You know. James Blackman is one of the, the gen most genuine person I've ever met in my life. You know, I've never seen nobody have to know knowing that I got played this for a year and still come out and work the work their ass off like James did. James came in ready to work every day. He's a team leader and so anything anything James Blackman wants, I got it for him. I much respect to James. Have you interacted much? I know the new coaches are on the offensive side of the ball, but have you interacted much with Coach Riles and Coach Shoot? Oh yeah, I, uh, Coach Riles recruited me back when he was at Baylor. You know, and I know I know him and his dad, uh, you know, real well. Uh, he's a great dude. He's kind of came in just to the to the atmosphere, real real good, real smooth. Does does a new offensive coordinator give you guys even new life on, on a defense and those those sort of changes being made? Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, um, you, it, it makes you feel better as a defense. You know, your offense can come in and score points. You know, that's what Art Browse has done. His track record shows that he come in, he can score, he can move the ball. So you know, uh, as a defense, you know, we're gonna get some more rest during the game. You know, it's, all, it's always good to see. Did you guys watch uh, Bryant yesterday? Oh, most definitely. I watched him. Well, I watched the whole draft. You know. And, um, Brian is a freak of nature. We always knew it, but he really got to show the whole world what he was really about. You know, I'm happy for him. Uh, he worked his butt off. Like from this point last year, Brian was going hard in his drills and stuff like that. You know, I'm just trying to simulate the same things that him and Christmas used to do right now because uh, those guys used to bust their butts.